guys that for the beginner painting on clothes especially on the denim jacket is scary as f <laughs> so in this video i want to give you some tips how to overcome this fear where to find the confidence how to don't afraid to paint on clothes i'm daria and welcome back to art fashion channel So first of all, I want to say that you are not alone. I get a lot of comments, people write me that they're afraid to paint on clothes, they're afraid to ruin their clothes, and they ask me like, why are you so confident, like how are you don't afraid to paint on clothes? Well guys, I've been painting on clothes for more than 6 years, and I've customized more than 500 pieces of clothing, and it's a lot of experience and a lot of practice. And, um, you know, guys, now I'm in the process of getting driving license, so I can relate to this feeling of fear when you're getting some new experience. And uh, my first two lessons were awful. <laughs> I was cheating my pants. <laughs> I was so scared. And, yeah, it's okay. Like, you're a beginner. You don't know what to do, how to do it. And now, after two weeks of practicing, I feel myself much more confident. So, first tip is you need to practice. First thing which I want you to do is to practice on some old t-shirt, old sweatshirt, or some, I don't know, it can be denim too, but something old, something which you won't afraid to ruin. Because if you want to customize your denim jacket, I know that most of you want to customize denim jacket because denim jackets are the most popular clothes for customization and there are a lot of videos on youtube how to customize denim jacket how to customize jeans there are a lot of beautiful examples on pinterest you can see of customized denim jackets and jeans and i know that you want to customize your first denim jacket but i ask you to don't rush you will customize your denim jacket but first you need to practice on some old t-shirt old sweatshirt or something which you won't afraid to ruin because again like even in driving my driving experience my first two lessons they were on a lonely road with no cars and no people around because i already have this fear of driving a car because i don't know how to do it so, like i don't need an additional fear i don't need to move to a busy road with a lot of cars and people and get the fear that I may kill someone or I may crash a car. So you don't need additional fear. One fear is enough. So I don't want you to afraid to ruin your denim jacket, your brand new or valuable pricey denim jacket. So I want you first to practice on some old clothes which you won't afraid to ruin because you have already the fear that you don't know how to paint. And first, of course, I um, recommend you to watch a couple of educational videos, at least to understand like what kind of paints to choose, how to apply paints, what are the mistakes most of the beginners do. I have such videos on my YouTube channel to understand the basics, you know. And then uh, you need to practice. You need to uh, try as many techniques as possible. Like, try to draw thin lines, try to uh, create smooth transition, try to blend colors, try to splatter paint, try to write something, try to paint something simple. Like, try as many techniques as possible to understand how to apply paint, how much paint to apply, because it's so big mistake that beginners apply too much paint. So yeah, you need to understand the basics and get used to painting on a new surface because probably you know how to paint on paper, but clothes, fabric is different surface and it's a different experience. So first you need to understand how to paint on fabric. And once you practiced, and I also practiced on the lonely road, I'm ready to drive in a neighborhood. So you are ready to customize your first piece of clothing but again i don't want you to customize denim jacket or jeans it's a busy road <laughs> but i want you to customize something not so much valuable like i want you to customize a t-shirt for example t-shirt is not so expensive so you won't afraid that so much that you will ruin 
very expensive piece of clothing. And actually, you know, I think that t-shirts are underrated in clothes customization, like most of the people want to customize denim jackets or jeans, and I understand why, because denim jacket, for example, is such a more statement piece, and, and you don't have to wash it often. But actually, the customized t-shirts are also so cool, and just a, a bit more care, like delicate washing and not drying in a drying machine, uh, you can wear such t-shirts as long as you're wearing t-shirts with print. Uh, so yeah, I want you to customize uh, your first t-shirt, but I don't want you to choose a complicated design. I know that probably you want to paint Starry Night on your t-shirt, or the Great Wave of Kanagawa, <laughs> the most popular designs in gloss customization, but I don't want you to do it. I want you to paint something simple, something graphic, and if you don't know what you can paint, you can watch my video where I showed five easy uh, close customization styles for beginners. I show there a lot of examples of easy customization. Minimalist art, graphic designs, lettering, like mixing all the styles. And you can create very, very cool customization on a t-shirt. And you know, uh, while uh, driving in a neighborhood, I got this feeling, this happy feeling that I can do it, that I am able to drive a car. And I got this confidence, the first confidence that I am able to move to a busy road and I am able to drive on a busy road. So I want you to customize a cool t-shirt, create a cool t-shirt and get this feeling that you can do it. You are able to create a cool piece of clothing and you will get this first confidence that you are able now to customize your first denim jacket or jeans. Okay, now I'm ready to drive on a busy road and I still feel scared and it's okay, like you are ready to paint your first denim jacket and probably you still feel scared a bit, but it's okay. Let me give you next tip. Before customizing denim jacket, I want you to plan, plan everything, every little detail what you will paint, where you will place it, what is the size of your artwork. I want you to set the size because once you painted it on a denim jacket, you won't be able to make it bigger or smaller. Like size is very important. Like will you add lettering? What will be the font? Like will you add some other details? What is the technique which you will use? Um, like what is the color scheme? I want you to plan every smallest detail before starting to paint your denim jacket or jeans. And I want you to draw first your design on paper. And then once you planned everything, all you will need to do is to follow a plan. You can transfer your design from paper onto a denim jacket using transfer paper, and then just follow your plan. And having such plan will reduce the risk of ruining your denim jacket to the minimum and you will feel yourself much more confident that you know what to do, what will be your next step. In such way, just following a plan, don't rush again, take your time, you will be able to customize your first cool denim jacket. And finally, I want you to make an exercise because I see this mistake so often when beginners, they're so afraid to mess it up that they try to make it perfectly you know, create perfect thin lines, create smooth transitions and make it so clean and perfect. And then the artwork, their design looks exactly like a print. And you might say like, it's good, it's great. Like the level of artwork is so high. It looks exactly like a print. But for me, it's a bad thing because you know, there are so many clothes out there with the perfect prints. So why you will spend this so much time and effort on a piece of clothing which will look exactly like all the clothes in any fast fashion store. And you will have to prove people that it's not a print, it's my artwork, I painted it. But the whole point of customization is creating unique piece of clothing, something which you can't find anywhere, which you can wear, show the people, and they will say, wow, it's so interesting. I've never seen anything like that before. That is the whole point of customization, <laughs> in my opinion. So I put here denim jacket for a reason. Uh, I want to show you, is it perfect? No, it's definitely not perfect. I mean, some stains, some spray paint, lines are not very thin and clear, 
like transitions are not so smooth but does it look interesting yes it definitely does so i want you to um, try this exercise i want you to customize piece of clothing in so-called trash style i call it trash style because it's so messy let me show you an example you see a lot of paint splashes some strokes very messy lettering some doodling it looks messy but that is the vibe that is an aesthetic and i want you to try create such mess on your clothes and probably it's not your vibe probably it's not your aesthetic but you can find some friend who would love to wear such piece of clothing and i want you to create such piece of clothing because it's such a great exercise because as a beginner you're afraid to mess it up but here you need to mess it up and in the process of painting you will break this rule in your head that you should be perfect you sh i should create a perfect design no you don't have to create a perfect design you can create very messy design but it will look interesting it will look cool and it will look very very unique so yeah it's a great exercise and also in the process of creating a mess on clothes you will get also confidence you will understand that like if you ruin your piece of clothing for example if you put some stain where you didn't want to put it you can always turn this stain into the whole vibe you can add more paint splashes you can add some strokes like you can create the whole aesthetic and knowing it you won't afraid it so much because you always have a chance to save your piece of clothing so yeah this sunday i'm having a driving test <laughs> I'm excited, but if I fail, it's not a big deal. It's not the end of the world. I will have more chances. So if you feel that you ruined your piece of clothing, again, it's not the end of the world. It's just an experience. And yeah, I've ruined many clothes <laughs> during my clothes customization journey, but I don't regret it because ruining clothes, I've also learned many, many new things. It was worth it, I can say. I hope guys you found this video useful, I hope you enjoyed it, please smash that like button, support my channel, support art fashion and I hope to see you next time. Fashion is art, bye bye!